Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make the cauldron that holds these lollipops or suckers as you, as you call them in America. Now I am going to do a tutorial on how I've covered these, but it's going to be a separate tutorial. So I'm going to take them out. We will have the witch, the ghost, shocking, <laughs> spider and the pumpkin. So they're all going to be coming up, but it's all about this cauldron. As you can see, all I've done is put styrofoam balls in there um, just to separate it. So you could fill this with sweets. You could put a handle on it and use it as a little carry out one. I'm going to take everything out of it so I can show you the actual thing itself. So this is the actual cauldron. So what you'll see is that there's... Um, little lines like these fold lines in here so you just smooth that down because I've moved it around and then they'll all be in a very similar place now you can do away with these but what I've done is I've designed it so you can cut it all with scissors and you haven't got to have any cutting machines or anything like that so let's get started and show you how to make this cauldron it's all in one as well now I always try to make my designs so that you can make them from one sheet of a4 or eight and a half by 11 sorry yeah eight and a half by 11 or if that's right i said it right the first time what am i like so this has been cut down to 11 by eight so cut yours down to 11 by eight now when you've made them you can make them bigger if you want but 11 by eight means that if you've got eight and a half by 11 you can cut it to eight by 11 and if you've got a4 you can cut it down to 8 by 11 so it goes across the board for everyone then it's the same um, instruction for everybody and I'm going to be doing it in inches and I've got different stages to show you and I have colored in the lines so it makes it easier so the first thing you're going to do is turn it portrait which means the short side the 8 inch side is at the top and you're just going to score it one four four and a half six and seven and a half so that's one four four and a half six seven and a half and then we're going to turn it around the other way like this well, actually this way so you've got the one inch at the top so you started off with one i'm going to have the one at the top now what you're going to do with this one is make score lines now i have drawn these so you're going to be able to see in a minute what i'm doing so basically this one inch part at the top is all you're going to score down to and you're just scoring every half inch so half one one and a half two and so on all the way along and then on this section you, between these two score lines now if you didn't want that fold and you're going to use a craft knife or a paper trimmer don't put that fold in there the one that sits six yeah six so admit that one if you want it to not have the fold in it so you're just going to go between these lines so from this one you're going to go at half inch as well so i like to bring i've drawn lines on my board so i know where half inch is so i can see that i'm going to go there I'm trying to do it so you can see that's a bit awkward but never mind so half one one and a half and all the way along again so i'm going to switch out now to the one that's fully drawn now the only other thing that looks different on this one is this first half inch just take it through those two little bits as well and then you'll get that long line okay so that's what it's going to look like when you've done all your score lines and then what we're going to do is fold it so i can i'm going to move this because i have made all the lines on there so just move that one out of the way and then what we're going to do so if we assume that all the writing is the right side so we're going to just fold these score lines now we need to turn it over and we're going to fold it there and then we're going to come back there fold it up and come back so we've got that shape going on so what we've got there is this one's folded down this one so we've got like it's too tall to show you so it's valley mountain valley mountain valley okay so this one is just like a w i can't show you it's too tall can't do it I did try but i can't and then what we're going to do with this one is we're going to cut away all of that scissors i'm just going to cut away all of this all the way up to there and take that off 
So we've now got that shape and then just remove that one little one in the top corner up here. Just go along there and obviously you won't have lines all over it now. I have used a scoreboard to make my marks because um, I don't like to have pencil lines to rub out but alternatively if you don't have a scoreboard then obviously you can take your card, measure where I said draw, draw your lines along here or score them and then just do the every half inch there and between those two lines there and you'll be able to do it with a ruler who don't have to have the scoreboard. So then all we need to do is just cut along these so every single one of these will be chopped and I have done one already so don't worry. So every one of these will be chopped like that all the way along and then this this is why I've done the score line because if you haven't got a paper trimmer or you're not good with a craft knife and a ruler to cut all these lines it might be a bit daunting so if you just fold that in half where that line is then you can cut along all of them up to the line and you'll be doing both sides in one go you're just going to cut along all of the lines like that if I open it up, you'll see that it's getting all of it. So we're coming through all of it there, like that. And then what you'll end up with is a piece that looks like this, with all the bits done. So exactly the same. So I hope that helped you, showing you the lines of where we're going. And now what we're going to do is put the tape on. So we're going to turn it over. Now, the way you know it's the other side, if you've got your fold here, okay, and this one's going backwards, these two go back. Turn it over so that this tab bit's on the right. And I can see I forgot to take that bit off. Need to take that bit off. There we go. And then all we're going to do is put some tape on now. So we're just going to lay some tape across those two half inch lines that have nothing on them basically. So we're just going to go all the way across that one. So this is like the wrong side. You can tell because it's got the dent. So that's like the going in -y bit and that's the going out -y bit of the scoreboard, if you know what I'm on about. And then this little one in the middle here, it has no scores on. So you've always got that panel going through the centre with nothing on it at all. But you are going to add tape to the centre piece here. Okay, so that's those. So then what we're going to do is remove the tape of the middle one first and then just fold that up like so. There. and then we're going to fold that back in half where they're all folded if you haven't done that then you just have to pull it back and we're basically going to be putting it up against that score line there so we're going to take take the tape off and put it up against that score line there so let's do that let's remove the tape and then like I say start at one end but You'll see that my finger here is holding up this to stop this sticky from landing before I'm ready. So just go all the way along, make sure it's in line. Just go all the way along like that. Make sure you're not catching any of those at the top. Like so. So now we've got that and you won't be able to fold those down anymore. And then across this bit here, so where we've got these pieces here, we can fold them away or just leave them there. You can probably see that line there, that mark. We're just going to add a thin tape, but really, really close to that edge. Okay, and that's really important that you put it up close to this edge or you won't get the effect that I've gone for around the top of the cauldron. Now, the reason I did it in blue and not in black is because with black, you just can't see anything, even the lines that I drew on for you. So that's why. So now we've got all the tape in place and that last one on. I'm going to um, just fold this around. So if you want to, you can just run your fingers along, bend it, try and get it circular, both ends, top and bottom, just along those bands. And it's basically just going to come all the way around and meet up there and just make sure that you tape it in place. Now, when I take this tape off, it is finger lift tape, so it doesn't go right the way to the edges. So I think what I'll do is add a little bit more red liner just on that edge because we want that to catch. Now, I have invented this cauldron. If you want to make it, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you're going to do any tutorials or anything on it, then please mention and link back to my video. That's the inventor. So I'm going to pop that one onto there, as you can see, I'm just making sure it goes all the way up like that and then give it a good push down 
like that so we've, you can see we've got a pot now these will change these will get pulled so you'll be folding these down to that piece there and I'll be doing that like this I'll be pulling those down like that and then pushing all them flat but obviously you don't want to get a, a secondary bow in it and that's how you get that nice cauldron shape there so we'll be doing that at the end because we need a base or everything you put in it is going to fall out the bottom I'm just going to show you how to do this as well so the top piece you need to take the tape off so from one of the ends take all of the tape off now what you're going to do is you're not folding this in half you're taking this edge to that score so where that score is you're just taking the edge without bend it will bend and it might crease depending on your car but you're going to that score and can you see that is still loop I haven't squashed it it will be squashed but I haven't physically squashed it down and made it a crease and then push on it there and the same here so just this is why you want it at the end because what we're then going to do is push these back to make that edge that goes across the top that gives it that dimension so you need to go all the way along with this pushing them down push it back fold it into the crease without creasing the edge pinch that it's fine to pinch that just get the edge onto the crease pinch that push it back up and squash it in okay one more and then I will move on to the next bit fold it over push it back okay so finally the other thing that you're going to need to do when you've done all of that is get a base so the easiest way to do a base is to just take a whoops sorry not you a four inch ish piece of card just as long as it's big enough to cover that and then just put glue make it as circular as you can put some glue now that will be flat because you would have done all them and you'll be able to put that down flat just fine okay so when they're all done that will be flat and then just get some glue and i'm going to just put it oh i knocked you again sorry i'm just going to put it on my side here and then i'm just going to take my baby finger and i'm going to cover my little finger in glue and then i'm just going to dab it all the way. and this is much easier when they're all on because it's completely flat so just dab it all the way around make sure you've got a good coverage of glue now the good thing is because this is double thickness at the bottom where we folded the card in half you've definitely it would definitely stick if it was single card it probably wouldn't so just make sure you've got enough glue on there make sure it's covering the base and push it down okay so just give it a good old push turn it back over and then run your finger all the way see I nearly missed that that's close or oh, you can see can you see the circle coming where it is so just give it a good rub down like that so you know it's all intact and then turn it over and you'll see white glue and you can thin it out if you want if it's too much and let that glue dry you have to walk away and leave it alone do you know how that is for me to do things like that really hard i'm telling you so we're going to put that to one side because look at that did one earlier <laughs> that stopped me from being naughty so you can see we've gone round and we've pushed all these edges up and they can all be changed at the end now this is still up at the moment because you're going to want to leave those up for now push them all back up the other way because we've got to take this base off and the easiest way to do this that I've found is take your scissors, cut that those corners off because they're just too big and in the way. And get them out of the way. That's satisfying sound of these scissors cutting. They're good scissors. So you just can you see my scissors are flat? Don't go in like that because if you go in like that, you could end up taking the bottom off and you'll have a hole in it. So just come down on that little bit there and just pushing my scissors flat against it and snipping you can also go back in and trim it after so just keep doing all the way around just like that and then you can just go back like I say if you've got bits that you've missed or 
Just keep going round till you're happy, but just don't take the bottom off. Try not to angle them scissors. You can see now, that's a bit of glue there. So you can take them off. And you can go around and you can make it really, really neat just by getting the bits you missed. Because at the end of the day, all the straight lines make a circle, don't they? Apparently, something like that. <laughs> so you can just take all them off. Just keep going until you're happy. So you can see on the bottom, it's not that bad already, is it really? And that is nice and securely in there because you've allowed that glue to dry. And then all you're going to do to finish it off is get your pokey tool or whatever you use to pull that back down. So give it a pull back down because they can be folded, but you won't be able to get your... You might be able to look. You might be able to get your finger in there. Depends on the size of your finger, I guess. Just shove them all the way back. Shove them. <laughs> Just push them all the way back down. You can see a bit of unneatness there, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's just a demo. I like to use a blue cauldron, but it could be used as a pretty basket to store things like my scissors. So you can have little pots as well around your craft room. So then just move that, smooth that down like that. For now, I'm making it distorted at the minute. And then you can see you've got your lovely cauldron or basket, whatever you want. You could use it for all sorts of um, occasions. And you could put a handle in there just by putting a strap across or some ribbon. Um, and the children can take it out and collect things, decorate it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. And I'll be back with the lollipop sucker covers soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.